Hello everyone and welcome to skadia.com. I'm your educator Dr. Ali Imran and this is the second and last part on the lecture on scleroderma. In this lecture we're going to study and cover topics ranging from the complications and the involvement of the gastrointestinal tract. We will study both the upper GIT symptoms and the lower GIT symptoms. Then we'll study about the renal involvement in scleroderma and why renal crisis is something to be studied very importantly because it not only has high mortality, it must be dealt with immediately in any kind of medical setup. We will study its pathogenesis along with cardiac involvement or more specifically the pericardic involvement in multiple in systemic sclerosis and how one symptoms can evolve into the other symptom and how all of these symptoms work to give the cardiac involvement. Then we'll study about various musculoskeletal complications such as the carpal tunnel syndrome among others and why they happen and how they occur. Then we'll study about the other uh, manifestations found in systemic, scleros uh, systemic scleroderma which cannot be categorized in one system. So we will study about all of these. Then we'll study about the malignancy in systemic scleroderma. We'll study why lung cancer and esophageal cancer is more common uh, in contrast to the breast and the ovarian cancer. Then we'll study about the diagnosis of scleroderma, how the laboratory evaluation and biomarkers help us in the diagnosis of it and how the clinical diagnosis of scleroderma takes place from skin biopsy to microscopy to the radiology. We'll study about all aspects of clinical diagnosis. Then we will study about the treatment and the management of systemic scleroderma and why immunosuppressive agents are the first line of drugs used in scleroderma and which immunosuppression to use, which is to avoid, what to give and how they work. Then we're gonna study about the whole spectrum of scleroderma from the localized scleroderma to morphia to systemic scleroderma including the limited and diffuse how they are differentiated and how they can even evolve into the crest syndrome we will even study what the crest syndrome is then last we will study about the mixed connective tissue disease which conditions can comprise a mixed connective tissue disease and why it is important to study along with systemic scleroderma which conditions occur which conditions are presented first and why it is a complicated uh, disorder in any patient we will study all of these in this lecture you can find this lecture among thousands of other lectures on topics ranging from biochemistry to anatomy to histology to courses in uh, medicine, surgery, uh, radiology, rheumatology. There are thousands of medical lectures on scardia.com. You can even start your free trial today if you log on to the website. Thank you so much for watching scardia.com.